Okay, hi there, and uh, welcome to a micro video looking at the Keteris Paribus assumption. This is an assumption that economists make to help simplify their analysis. If we assume Keteris Paribus, it does help to isolate a theoretical relationship between two variables. And Keteris Paribus means all other influencer factors are held constant. Let's take a quick example. Here's a, here's a statement, a theoretical statement. Falling prices, Keteris Paribus, are likely to lead to an expansion of demand for electric vehicles. The number of electric vehicles in the UK uh, by type for 2017 and 18 is shown in this chart. That's just the surge in hybrids, of course, in 2018 uh, and plug-ins. Uh, presumably that data has carried forward through to 2019. And yes, one would expect that as prices go down for electric vehicles, as the retail price comes down, um, perhaps, for example, as producers exploit economies of scale, as more firms enter the market, so the market supply increases, driving down the price, and that should lead to an expansion of demand, Keteris Paribus. However, there are many factors influencing the demand for electric vehicles, and the Keteris Paribus assumption assumes that those are held constant. So, so it's a simplifying assumption. Other factors include the prices of and the availability and efficiency of car charging points, a key complement in the market. Uh, the demand for electric vehicles also affected, influenced by the price of substitutes, including diesel, petrol cars, the cost of, of uh, rail travel, for example. And major factor influencing the market potentially going forward is government intervention in the market. The decision, for example, by the UK government to ban sales of new petrol and diesel vehicles from 2035. So when we make a Keteris Paribus assumption, we're simplifying the theoretical relationship. We're trying to isolate, in this case, the price-demand relationship. But of course, keep in mind there are many factors that influence demand. Uh, here's the announcement of by the UK government in February 2020 that the ban on selling new petrol, diesel or hybrid vehicles will be brought forward by another five years under their plans. A uh, key factor affecting demand will be the availability of and the efficiency of and the charges from electric vehicle charging stations. You can see that the network of charging stations is growing. Uh, whether that's sufficient to catapult demand to new levels is open to question. Here's another uh, aspect of uh, where you can use this. You can challenge the Keteris Paribus assumption as part of your excellent A-star evaluation. So Keteris Paribus is often used when making arguments about cause and effect. Well, challenge that assumption when you're evaluating in an essay. Here's an example. An increase in the minimum wage, Keteris Paribus, will lead to a rise in unemployment. So this is a fairly standard bit of economic theory, but it does assume Keteris Paribus. Yes, if the minimum wage goes up, some firms may decide to cut back on employment and some, uh, if you like, real wage or classical unemployment might be caused. Minimum wage in the UK has been going up recently. In fact, uh, a few months ago, the government announced a 6% rise from £8.21 per hour to £8.72 per hour for adult workers. And there's also been commensurate increases in the minimum wage rates for younger workers, as shown in this chart. So does a minimum wage increase, Keteris Paribus, lead to an increase in unemployment? Well, uh, you can challenge that assumption. Uh, so, for example, it assumes no change in labour productivity. If the minimum wage goes up, do workers better psychology, better, better training perhaps, do workers become more productive? It assumes a competitive labour market, when in fact we know that in many jobs there's a lot of monopsony power, uh, particularly in businesses such as um, Deliveroo and Amazon. Many other factors impact on unemployment, uh, where we are in the economic cycle, the level of aggregate demand, which itself could be affected by a higher minimum wage. Uh, the changes in the level of employment taxes, such as national insurance contributions. Changes in business profits, which affect how the extent to which a business or a firm is able to pay a higher uh, minimum wage without necessarily raising prices. So challenging the Keteris Paribus assumption 
that an increase in the minimum wage will lead to a rise in employment. Unemployment can be a key part of your uh, evaluation skills. So it's well worth knowing about a Keteris Parabus assumption. Thank you.